figure shows a top view of wave fronts of water waves in a huge ripple tank passing through two gaps of different sizes. A. On figure, complete the wave pattern as the wave fronts pass through the wide gap followed by the small gap. This question is an important question because it includes the two types of diffraction of water waves through a wide gap which is much greater than the wavelength and through a small gap which is equal to or smaller than the wavelength. This is a top view. This means that the parallel lines are the wave fronts of the wave. The spacing between the two waves is the wavelength. When this wave passes through a wide gap, it will be straight lines that are curved from the ends. These straight lines become bigger as we go away from the gap, but still curved from the ends. Be sure that the spacing, which is the wavelength of the waves after passing the gap, to be equal the spacing, which is the wavelength before the gap, when these waves reach the small gap. Now this is another kind of diffraction because this is a small gap which is smaller than the wavelength. The curvature will be much more and the diffracted waves will take the circular shape. These are the two kinds of diffraction of waves. Question B is an easy one. Name the change that happens to the waves at both gaps. This is simply diffraction.